Good morning. Uh, my name is Paul Van Hout. I'm the County Manager for Putnam County. Uh, just recently, I made a presentation to our Board of Commissioners regarding the impact of Plant Branch. Currently, we are collecting about $170,000 in SPLOS tax money from Plant Branch. Unfortunately, we had budgeted $275,000, so we're about $100,000 a year short based on our estimates. That is directly attributable to the loss of coal sales from Plant Branch. Also, on top of that, we're losing about $950,000 to $980,000 of property tax. That is about one seventh of our tax diet, of our property tax receipt. This is a very big impact to the community. Now, the money we're losing. You know, I don't mean to cut you off, but I've been intrigued by the property tax issue since you brought it up. We have one of the lowest ones in the state. <laughs> How does that work? You've got a functioning coal plant. Yes, sir. And then you shut that coal plant down. I mean, so at that point, it, it's time to reassess that the property is just simply worth less because the coal I'll be plant's taking the capital equipment out of it. Yes, sir. The turbines will go, The probably the pumps and things like that. Some of their high dollar assets will be removed. So it'll ultimately be a hulking superstructure that'll be rusting for years. Okay, so which it's I'm the turbines that are the improvement of the property that is the big kicker on the property. Okay, I, I was unsure of exactly how that worked. I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, that's okay. Um, just a, a couple of things, and I do have a copy for you all if you really want to be, I'm sure, put to sleep by it. But right now, that's on our southern gateway into Putnam County. I'm asking that you would require Georgia Power to do something with the site to remediate that superstructure and that property within five years. I know it's an aggressive time frame, but that is such a huge impact to our county that we can't have it just sitting there rusting. Typically, Georgia Power is very slow to get that property off their books, if you will, and to have it just sit there and turn into Plant Arkwright in Macon is not an acceptable solution. Um, getting back to what we were talking about, the $100,000 a year, a month of SPLOS tax that we lose let me just translate what that means for Putnam County. And this is on an annual basis for the next three years. That is eight sheriff's cars, one ambulance remount, one piece of fire apparatus, $500,000 in funding to the Putnam General Hospital, and $80,000 worth of improvements to the rec department. That is a public safety, life safety, health and wellness component to the county that is detrimental. Um, we have looked at this and way back in the day when we budgeted this SPLOS program it was 16 and a half million dollars is the estimate that the county would receive now we're looking at 5.3 million dollars less than that due to the impact from the power plant closing these are real numbers real costs to the county and at the end of the day if you could get georgia power to do something with that site whether whatever the next iteration chooses to be whether it's green energy whether it's a peaking unit or whether they just um, having a creative reuse for that property, please encourage them to do so. I appreciate your time. I, I guess so. I mean, if the solar would make up, assumably, some if not all of the property tax, but it really wouldn't help you out with the small sales correct. tax, right? Well, you're, you're exactly correct. And at this point in time, um, we are trying to be as creative as we can and something on that site that's productive and profitable for Georgia Power is great. Um, and to be fair to them, they've been great stewards, great corporate citizens. Um, they had put this out several years ago and have worked with us to a point to let us know what's coming. So I'm asking them to you know, keep holding up their end and for y'all to kind of advocate on our behalf, saying that we'd really like something to happen with this site. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Would you like copies of these? Just so you can see what's out there. Leave them with staff. Yeah, if you, yeah, just leave them with staff and they'll... Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bill Sharp and Tex McGuire.